Hello best friend, it's Monday! So I was going to have some people, namely my family, say hello to you. Um, yesterday I was going to bring my camera to my grandma's house and then my other grandma's house and I was going to have people say, Hello Rose, it's Monday! But oh, I forgot my camera, so... And also, whenever I brought it on Saturday, we were going to do a video then, but we forgot to do a video. We just kind of didn't, so... Rose, I know that you already know, but to everyone else out there, yes, this is my new hair. Yes, I'm a ginger. Yes, my initials spell out ale, which is beer, and now they spell out ginger ale because I'm ginger. My whole life I've kind of wanted to be a redhead, um, especially because I'm 80% Scott Irish, so it's a really big part of me, and I've always been blonde, and I've always just kind of, I don't know, I've always just wished that I could be a redhead, and then I've, I never even thought about dying at red, and then I was just like, well, I don't know, maybe I could, and then we went in the store, and I wanted to get, like, strawberry blonde, but nobody sells strawberry blonde, so I picked up this light auburn color, and it said, you know, dark blonde would be this color, and I'm like, oh, well, that's pretty, and it was, you know, blonder than this is, and... I figured, oh, you know, my hair is a lot blonder than that, so it'll look even lighter. I didn't take into account the fact that, one, my hair was a lot blonder than that, so it was going to stick more, and two, the fact that I have a lot of red in my hair naturally, like, just highlights, and I've, just, I've got a lot of natural red in my hair in different sections of it, and I never even thought about the fact that that was just going to make it even redder, and, yeah, so I'm a ginger now. I sold my soul to a store for a box of hair dye, but I gave them money to do so. Seem a little backwards to you. It's currently 8.05 in the morning and I'm exhausted because I had a core paper due today and it's, I mean, it's still due today, obviously, and I haven't had core class yet. Um, but I stayed up last night until like a little after one writing my paper, which for me normally isn't too late, but I really was exhausted already, especially because, you know, all the Easter things and the family things and yeah, so I was really tired. And then, um, so I had to write my paper and everything and then, so I had to get up at six and then we had to leave the house properly at 6.40 and then I had to sit in the cramped seat in the back of the truck and that seat always makes me feel so claustrophobic and I'm just like, I always have to focus on something so I was focusing like touching my head to the top of the car so that I wouldn't be focusing on how tiny of a space I was in. I really enjoyed seeing you on Friday, although it was a terrifying experience and I still, whenever I was trying to go to bed last night, I could just, it was still in my head and it was... But, I mean, whatever. It'll be fine, I guess. But my voice teacher's gonna murder me. I have voice lessons every Monday, and for the past three or four times, I've come in with my voice gone, or almost gone, or I've been sick, or I've been exhausted because I haven't gotten sleep, although that's every day of my life. And now I'm starting to lose my voice again. Just before I turned on the video camera, I was hacking. Like, I was coughing really hard. And I really want the evil tiny chicken to get out of your head. Crap seems. First read, no. First scene read through is today or Wednesday, I don't remember. Ah. I love you, best friend. Wait, wait. Double swan her. I love you, best friend. <laughs> don't forget to be awesome.